The night is hot as hell. It's a lousy room in a lousy part of a lousy town. I'm staring at a goddess. She's telling me she wants me. I'm not gonna waste one more second wondering how I've gotten so lucky. I want you. She smells like angels ought to smell. The perfect woman. feeling several sizes too big and that cold thing happens to my stomach and I realize Goldie's dead. Not a mark on her. You'd have to check her pulse and notice those perfect breasts of hers aren't moving like they would if she was breathing. She was murdered and I was right here when it happened, lying next to her, stone drunk just like she was. Damn it, Goldie. Who were you and who wanted you dead? Who were you besides an angel of mercy giving a two-time loser like me the night of his life? Well, it sure as hell wasn't my looks. So why the sleazy saloon? Why the kindness, Goldie? The cops. They're telling me too much. Showing up before anybody but me and the killer could know there's been a murder. Somebody paid good money for this frame. No reason at all to play it quiet. No reason to play it any way but my way. Whoever killed you has got to pay, Goldie. Open up, police! I'll be right out. I was just grazed. You got any beers around this place? No way I'm giving you any alcohol. Besides, it's not what you came here for anyway, is it? No. Go ahead. You're worse without him. Thanks. You're the best. Lucille's my parole officer. She's a dyke, but God knows why. With that body of hers, she could have any man she wants. The pills come from a girlfriend who's a shrink. She tried to analyze me once, but she got too scared. I haven't seen you like this in a while. You had a fight with some cops. Didn't happen to kill any of them, did you? I mean, not that I know of, but they know they've been in a fight, that's for damn sure. How the hell do you suppose I'm gonna square this with the board? <laughs> there ain't no squaring it, not this time. This isn't some barroom brawl, or some creep with a gas can trying to torch someone. Hey, hey, this is big. Settle down, Marv. Take another pill. Hey, there ain't no settling down. This is blood for blood and for the gallons. 
This is the old day, and the bad days, the all or nothing days. They're back. There's no choices left, and I'm ready for war. Prison was hell for you, Marvin. It's gonna be life this time. Uh, hell's waking up every goddamn day and not even knowing why you're here. But I'm out now. It took somebody who was kind to me getting killed to do it, but I'm out. I know exactly what I gotta do. So you were scared, weren't you, Goldie? Somebody wanted you dead, and you know it. So you hit the saloons, the bad places, looking for the biggest, meanest lug around, finding me. Well, I'm gonna find that son of a bitch that killed you, and I'm gonna give him the hard goodbye. Walk down the right back alley in Sin City. And you can find anything. That coat looks like Baghdad. So's your face. Take off! He's new here, Marv. He didn't know. Katie's my kind of joint. Nancy's just getting started with a gig, but already the crowd's breathing hard. Plenty of nights I've jeweled over Nancy, shoulder to shoulder with all the other losers like me. But that's not what I'm looking for tonight. What will be my A shot in the brew, Shelly, and keep them coming. Sure, honey. You take it slow now. Most people think Marv is crazy. He just had the rotten luck of being born in the wrong century. He'd be right at home on some ancient battlefield swinging an axe into somebody's face. Or in a Roman arena taking a sword to other gladiators like him. They'd have tossed him girls like Nancy back then. Show's over, dickwad. Drink up. Now that's one fine looking coach you're wearing there. Your killing days are over, you over the hill do gooder son of a bitch. I love hitmen. No matter what you do to them, you don't feel bad. Take it off. What? Fine coat like that, and you're bleeding all over it. All right, it's all yours. Oh, God. Who was it, you losers, who killed Goldie? The guy who did that, he knew what he was doing. So tell me, man, who sent you? I don't hear you giving me any names. So I guess when I shot you in the belly, I aimed a little too high. No! You keep holding out on me like this, and I'm gonna have to get really nasty. You just... Telly, Telly Stern, pass me the order. He runs the tables over to the Triple Ace Club. Thanks again. And the damnedest thing happens. For a second, I smell the angel smell that belonged to my Goldie. Just need my medicine, is all. Bastard. You're gonna pay for what you did to me. You like talking, Louie? How many got paid off for the Frank, Louie? Huh? How many for the kill? Hey, it was Conley. He set me up. <laughs> You'll never talk again. I don't know about you, but I'm having a ball. Connolly talks. They all talk.